morning you guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to a new little vlog i'm so excited we're gonna spend a little cozy september days together and i'm very excited about it it's currently about eight i got up for some reason i really wanted a nice coffee this morning so i'm having it in a mug and stella's right here and it's friday i do have to work a little bit today i'm gonna work for a few hours and it's actually Mount Nye's anniversary and the new Zach Bryan EP just dropped, which I was not expecting. It's already been a great day, honestly. But I'm super excited to spend some cozy fall days together. We have so much going on, or at least I think so. We have a fall farmer's market tomorrow. We're going to have a little date night at home tomorrow. I want to decorate the front porch and also decorate my Kindle because I finally got a case for it. So I'm really excited to spend the next few days with you guys. And naturally the landscapers are here, of course. And see, I told you guys in my morning routine, if I don't put my ring on right away, I literally forget it. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the fall vlog so far. I know that not everyone loves fall or this time of year. And I promise, I promise that the regular vlogs are coming back. Quite honest, I've tried filming. Like this week I tried to film just like some days in my life. And I have nothing to talk about. Like, I'm honestly so grateful that it's fall right now and we can do all these fun things because we're kind of in this, like, in limbo stage between it's a little too far out to pack. Like, we've been packing here and there. And I just feel very unmotivated at home to, like, do anything. Like, I don't feel like I really have a routine right now or anything. And so it's actually really nice that it is autumn. And I know it sounds silly, but it's nice to just have things to focus on and... I was actually DMing one of you and I totally, I need to grab my phone and, and remember your name, but we were talking about how I just felt so unmotivated in this stage right now and you were saying that one of the best things you can do for yourself right now is to just like really enjoy these last few weeks at home and just slow down. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I think it's really nice because obviously you guys know I struggle with my mental health and if I if I wasn't filming like fall content right now and just filming regular vlogs, I think my anxiety would consume me. I just I just feel very anxious. It's obviously like a big move and while I'm excited about it, I, I don't do well. Like I love change, but I don't do well in limbo. And so I've been really struggling with this like in limbo stage, I guess, if that makes any sense. So it sounds silly, but I'm really grateful that it's fall right now. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a few hours and pick it up when the landscaping has stopped. <laughs> Story of my life. They were already here this week. I don't know why they're here again, but anyways, I digress. But yeah, come mid-October, the quote unquote like regular vlogs will be back as we start to like pack and move. But because you guys know Halloween is my favorite time of year, fall and autumn are my favorite time of year, and we're moving mid-October. I really only have September and like the first two weeks of October to really enjoy fall. So I'm really just trying to soak up as much of it as I can right now. And you guys know my fall content to me is just like slowing down. I just want to sit and read and relax and spend time with my loved ones. And so, yeah. But anyways, all that to say, if you're not here for the fall content, I'm sorry. I totally understand. It's not everyone's cup of tea and it's not everyone's favorite time of year, but the quote unquote regular vlogs and the moving vlogs will happen mid October. And then we go to Disney in the beginning of November. So it's going to be so much fun the later half of October and then November is just gonna be crazy chaotic and so I'm really just trying to slow down right now and embrace it so anyways I hope you guys are here for the ride and along for the adventure let me take a sip of this coffee but I'm going to spend the morning working I just wanted to come on and say hello good morning and then I think after I'm done work because I'm just gonna work a half day today I just have like a decent amount of stuff to do after my work trip I am going to run to the grocery store near us because they have pumpkins and warty pumpkins and I love warty pumpkins so much. They're so stinking cute. And maybe run to Sobeys because I do know that they had Pillsbury cookies. But we can also maybe do that tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll kind of see. And I would love to decorate my Kindle today. And I have a funny Amazon package coming. And I have a little clothing haul for you guys. It's not big, but I just have some things that I've been like needing that I've been waiting to go on sale. I think I have a few clips from yesterday, not too many, but I actually went to shoot a campaign for Rona Plus, which is what Lowe's Canada got converted into basically like five years ago 
we had Home Depot and Rona. And then Lowe's in the US bought Rona and changed them all to Lowe's. And then this year, Lowe's in the US cut ties with Lowe's in Canada. And so they just changed them all back into Rona's and they're now called Rona Plus. And I got to shoot a really fun campaign for them, an Instagram campaign, it was so much fun. Like such a pinchy moment to work with big brands like that. Got a bunch of stuff to decorate the front porch. So we're gonna do that and I'm just so excited. So. That is that. I also just heard the doorbell ring. So let's go see what's downstairs. I feel like it might be, I don't know, it was the FedEx guy. And that's usually like brand or like PR packages. So especially this early in the morning. So let's go see what that is. And then I'm gonna start work for the day and I actually have to film another video. So I'll probably talk to you guys this afternoon. Welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna get started on work for the day and then I'll catch up with you guys probably this afternoon. Okay, you guys, I just got the cutest little PR packages from Allie and her team at our PR. But how cute, it's like a pumpkin spice themed PR package. We have pumpkin spice whipped cream. We got regular whipped cream for Stella. We've got this super cute little candy corn knit pumpkin. And then she also sent over some steeped coffee which i love i'm gonna have to look these up because they're just like a steeped bag of coffee which i think is awesome to make cold brew so i'm gonna have to look these up and they're compostable cute mug and then some pumpkin spice syrup which is awesome so starting the day off with a little pumpkin spice themed package thank you so much ali hi guys i'm all dolled up and glammed up because i'm laughing i'm using this like a microphone because i had plans to sit down and film a fall book haul but the landscapers are here which is like it's fine this before i really struggle with like when things don't go to plan like in my time blocking schedule and i'm trying to work on just like removing myself from the situation and getting something else done so that's what we're doing i was like you know what i'll get out of the house I'll go run my errands that way if they're maybe like gone later this afternoon I can film that video. I'm parked out at a home sense in winters because I'm looking for a fall dress. I don't own any fall dresses. All my dresses are like super summery. And you guys know I'm a big dress gal, so I thought we could go and look because I do have a gift card. And then naturally we have to go look and see what's new in the Halloween like home decor. Then I want to go to Sobeys and grab, like I said, some pumpkin cookies and then we'll head to the grocery store near us that has a bunch of pumpkins outside. I did get most of like my flowers. I got some, I think they're mums and pie pumpkins at Rona Plus yesterday, but I want to grab some more bigger pumpkins to put out on the front porch. So we're going to do that. Hopefully by the time I get home, my Amazon package comes with my Kindle case. That would be really great because I would love to do that today. My Kindle is just like, I shove it in my purse, I throw it everywhere and it's just like getting a little scratch up so I figured I should probably invest in a case for it that is that and then before you know it Matt will be home he's done at four today we're going out for dinner like I said for our anniversary and yeah I was tempted to go get myself a coffee but I know that we'll get one tomorrow before we go to the fall farmers market or the harvest market so I'll wait for now to do that but I'm like literally holding this like a microphone Fab fit fun is dangerous because it got me obsessed with this lip balm and it's kind of expensive so let's go let's go do some autumn shopping shall we total success total success um i did get big pumpkins they're outside i just it was like there's no point in bringing them in just to bring them out but we will go find the welcome sign downstairs in the doormat in a sec and we can decorate the front porch i found a dress and you guys know i really try and be very conscious of the pieces i bring into the home and i try and have them be like very versatile so things that i can you know wear out but also like i could use for work and so 
I realized I didn't really have like a long sleeve black dress, which I think is nice. So I'm really glad I got this one. And I also thought it would just be like nice and simple and just very classy for like an anniversary dinner tonight. So it's just a long sleeve black dress, but it cinches kind of in the middle. Uh, you probably cannot see it all, um, but it cinches in the middle, which is really, really flattering on my body type. So really happy with that also just picked up this cute little long sleeve i love marshalls and winners for their basic tees i think they're great they honestly last me forever and i don't really have any long sleeve ones and so i got this cute little uh striped one i thought this would be really cute we're actually going to syracuse next week we were supposed to go to boston and in salem as you guys know for a little spooky getaway but it just didn't work I honestly could not find a flight for a good price that was like under I'd say $800 a person in Canadian from any of the nearby airports, from like Syracuse, from anywhere. We're gonna drive because it's only six hours, but you guys know Matt and I like to do weekend trips and we're saving a lot of our vacation time for next year because it rolls over because we're gonna do Europe and we're also going to New York City to see Zach Bryan now and all this stuff. So we didn't wanna have to take any extra time off work and like out of a two day trip, 12 hours of that would be driving. It kind of just seems like a waste. So. We're gonna go to Syracuse. I'm a big believer in just romanticizing and having fun no matter where you go, whether it's a few hours away or a big trip. So I'm really excited. We're gonna have a little fall getaway, the fall foliage. Actually, the reason we're going is I saw an Instagram photo with some fall foliage in Syracuse. And I thought it was breathtaking. And I honestly just wanna like go to Trader Joe's and do all the additional fall stuff. So go to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods. Anyways, I. I'm rambling, but I just wanted some cute stuff to wear. I thought this would be cute with like a little black skirt to wear for fall. And yeah, I know some of you are probably like, oh, Syracuse, like that's so random. But like I said, I'm just a big believer in like taking trips around you. And you guys know we love to do travel on a budget. And I love showing that you can like make the most out of any trip, regardless of like how random the spot may be. So I'm really excited to take you guys along for that. I did find the goods, so excited. And then these were just calling my name. There's nothing more cozy to me than like a Sunday morning with a Cindy bun and reading a book. So I picked up two. And then they also just had the bags of like the little pumpkins and the girl forgot to scan one. So I only paid for one. So they were buy one get one free today apparently, but I got the white ones and then the orange ones. These are just like a fun way to decorate. And I'm super excited to decorate the front porch as well. And just like have a cozy next few days together. Really, the weather really feels like fallout. So I'm really thriving, I'm really happy. And I hope this dress fits because as you guys know, I don't like to try things on in store. So we'll find out, but I would call that a success. Just filmed my book haul and it was so short. So I'm just including it in this video because I don't know what people say in book hauls. Um, I literally was just like here's the books that I got and then it was like six minutes long and I was like I can't put that online like that's just way too short like I have a very specific it's gotta be at like the 15 minute mark for me because I mean that's just based on me as a consumer like if a video is under 15 minutes on YouTube unless it's like something crazy like a proposal I'm not watching it honestly like I just love long videos so I was like you know what I'm just gonna put it into this vlog and maybe one day I'll have a huge book haul. Like maybe when we move, I'll do like a humongous book haul since I'll have like really big bookcases. But for now, we're just going to fly through the books that I bought. They're a mix of either Amazon used, Facebook Marketplace, Value Village, and then Indigo because Indigo was doing a sale. Yeah, I've said this like a million times already, but I got retro pay at work and I used it to treat myself because I'm getting a second one in November and that one will be put into investments. But I wanted to treat myself to like the rest of the books that were on my TBR. So first let's do Amazon. So we have Powerless by Lauren Roberts, which Sarah Crowley raves about. I have literally no idea what this is about. It just says epic and sizzling fantasy romance trilogy taking the world by storm. I believe this is self-published. And then in my autumn bookstore vlog, a lot of you guys were saying that you loved Stalking Jack the Ripper by, I can never say her name, Carrie Mani Maniscalco. So I snagged that. I love Amazon's used book section. It's not available for every book, but you can find them for select books. And so I got each of these, I wanna say for like $9. And this one retails for $16.99, so. Um, okay, moving on to books that I thrifted slash got on Facebook Marketplace. I thrifted, I really love these covers of Harry Potter. The, I don't really know, I think these must be newer covers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of like the OG covers. I know they're special, but I'm just not a fan. I also have these covers too, which I believe these are the house covers. Um, I have these three, but I love these ones. I think these are the newer release covers. I've seen them at Indigo. So I snagged 
Order of the Phoenix. And then also, what is this? Goblet of Fire. This one's dope. And then they have the numbers on the side. So I'm on the hunt to finish that collection. But I got those at Value Village. This is also from Value Village, which you guys know I'm not a hardcover girly. But once in a while, I don't mind it. And this is one of the last Grady books I have left to read. This and my best friend's Exorcism or something, whatever it's called. So I'm excited to read this. You guys know me. I could read spooky season books all year round. So if I don't get to any of these in like the next month or two, it's not a huge deal. This book low-key terrifies the freaking living shit out of me. Actually, these next two. But when I saw them, I had to pick them up. Also, this is like literally the heaviest book I've ever seen. I have no idea what this is even about. Um, I saw Brianna Chicken Fry reading this. And I was like, oh, okay. So thrifted If We Were Villains by ML Rio, which I said this is my bookstore vlog. This book scares the living heck out of me, but I really want to read it. Got that. And then these two were Facebook Marketplace fine, so they were about $10 each. Um, this is new. I love Facebook Marketplace for new releases. If I don't want to go to Indigo and get them, got Assistant to the Villain, which I'm so excited about. This is the, I believe it's the Indigo version with the red sprayed edges, which I don't love. I don't think it really goes together, but it's fine. And then I also picked up Belladonna, which I'm so excited about. And I don't even know what this is about, but a ton of you guys were saying that even though it's like very floral, it, it gives a lot of fall vibes. I don't know if it's because it's, is it dark academia? This just says, Belladonna brings to life a highly romantic, gothic infused world of wealth, desire, and betrayal. And then these guys are my new books that I got at the 10 times the points event. And there's a story behind these because you guys know I don't like to buy new books. I did it during the 10 times the points events. I had $40 in points and then I had, I totally forgot that my Amex Cobalt, which I don't really honestly pick up and use much, has points. So I was like, what could I use the points for? And then Indigo was having their 10 times the points event sale and I had $40 in points to redeem. So I ended up grabbing a bunch of books and just using my credit card points to pay for it. So this is actually my current read. I love it so much so far. It's House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. Once again, floral cover, but it's giving very spooky season vibes. They describe it as like a modern fantasy realism thriller paranormal fiction i think is what this is okay this one out of my comfort zone but i really have been enjoying cackle so i picked up such shark teeth by the same author rachel harrison and this just says a young woman in need of a transformation finds herself in touch with the animal inside in this gripping incisive novel from the author of cackle i've never even heard of this book night of the witch i believe this is a about i feel like this is like enemies to lovers and this just says they weave a fantasy and heart pounding tale full of history love witchcraft and war really excited about that and the cover was beautiful and we have the witch haven this one i'm so excited about i was like obsessed with sleepy hollow as a kid horseman then we have the hazelwood by melissa albert don't know what this is about either story of my life i just one person recommends a book on tiktok i'm like yeah i'll read it and then this one i'm really excited about because this was recommended for beginner fantasy people like me an enchantment of ravens by margaret rogerson this just says rogerson turns forbidden love into a fresh adventure ideal for fans of holly black and laney taylor so anyways that's my book haul like i don't know what it is i could sit here and like vlog and show you my book haul but filming a book haul on its own like gives me a bit of anxiety i don't really know why so anyways now i need to find a spot on my bookshelf for these and let's decorate the front porch let's do both of those things i don't know which order we're gonna do them in but let's do that
guys hello it's saturday it's like 4 p.m uh you got, i haven't talked to the camera at all today but i was gonna say good morning it's not the morning uh we had a very slow day and we're gonna continue to have a very slow day and rest of the weekend and i'm really looking forward to it i feel like sometimes there's this expectation as a creator to like always be doing something fun for the vlogs and while i feel like i'm pretty good about just like vlogging everyday life and just relaxing and slowing down i definitely feel especially like the fall and stuff like we got to go to the pumpkin patch we gotta do this we gotta do that vlog like fall content like you gotta go be doing something but one of my favorite things about fall is just like honestly being cozy at home and we really want to enjoy these next few weeks before obviously moving so that's exactly what we're doing last night i vlogged last night we watched hubby halloween which is like such an honestly funny movie i feel like there's not a lot of good like comedy light-hearted like grown-ups style halloween movies so we watched that and then this morning we went to the harvest market which you guys saw we didn't really get anything we just didn't really need anything and then we came home we watched qualifying which was so good i'm really happy to see mclaren up there took self for a walk and then matches went for a run and i want to finally decorate my kindle because the rest of my stickers came i ended up getting like a hundred pack on amazon for like 7.99 i'll link them down below i got two of them i got like a horror i got like a halloween cutesy one and like a horror one just like such a fun way to decorate your kindle honestly for the seasons what else did we do i read for a little bit and like we're just chilling we're gonna have a nice warm uh like pot roast sandwich dinner and a little at home date night tonight we're gonna watch goblet of fire because that is like the movie that we're on right now i think like we rewatch the harry potter movies like every year on this time so yeah you don't always have to be doing something especially in the fall and the autumn i feel like it's so easy for like to see everyone at the pumpkin patch and doing all these things that like it's okay to just film a fall vlog and just be at home tomorrow i'm so excited to like wake up have coffee have cinnamon buns and then watch f1 it's gonna be so fun i wanted to share my current reads i'm reading two physical books i already said this but i'm reading house of hollow i also have this on my kindle so it's nice to read at night and it's not really too scary it's more of like a YA thriller so i find i can read this at night and not get too scared and i'm honestly really really enjoying this and then this morning i started the handyman method which clearly i just have a thing this month with people who move into haunted houses like that's my favorite soft horror books to read apparently nick cutter is like a very renowned horror writer and so i'm really excited to read this and then if i like this and i like his writing then i think i'll read the deep happy saturday i might not even talk to you guys again today because i'm just relaxing honestly but that's the day nice quiet slow relaxing what more could you ask for